Hi, I'm Graham Ward. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show off this homemade DM screen that I made. And the nice thing about it was I got to put all of my own um, charts on the insides that I can reference during play, and I put some custom artwork on that I really liked. Um, on the art side here, I've got uh, this piece, The Hall of Mountain King by Chris Cold. Uh, he's a great artist that's going to be doing a lot of the work for a promotional Kickstarter campaign for Dark Plains, so check him out. I'll put the links to all of these guys um, in the uh, in the comments section or uh, in the description. Um, this is a piece called Ming Men Lake by um, Sean Soong, who's another deviant art guy. I really liked it. I love just sort of the surreal quality. And then this is Haunter of the Dark by uh, Peter Macri. So um, I really like that stuff. It kind of evoked a nice horror uh, setting, and I can use that to face the players. Now on my side, uh, I've got some charts. Basically, the impetus for making this was that I really didn't like the DM screen that they produced uh, Wizards of the Coast made, so I decided to make my own that had the stuff that I wanted to put on it, mostly charts from the Dungeon Master's Guide. Uh, so the first panel here, this is uh, treasure, and then it has some madness, which is mainly a spillover from the next panel over. Um, but you have charts to reference those things. This is the combat panel. It's got uh, actions you can take in combat. It's got uh, DC for destroying objects, and uh, it's also got, over here on this side, it's got um, injuries, and then along the bottom there is my custom critical hits chart. And I will uh, do a separate article about that, um, but that's something that a lot of my players have really enjoyed as we've played at home and at conventions. Um, now the next panel has a little bit of combat spillover too. Uh, on this side right here you've got uh, the encounter creation charts. And then the other stuff is... Um, mostly uh, NPC things. So you've got uh, framing events, which are things happening with characters that can sort of set up an adventure or a new campaign. And then uh, I've got DCs for skills here, the skill list, and then right here is a list of NPC attributes that I can randomly roll during the game. And then the last panel is a travel panel, which has uh, travel pace, weather, uh, weather conditions, uh, wilderness navigation, and then it also has some random settlement stuff that I can use uh, to determine what people might find when they're on the, in the wilderness and I didn't plan for them to go there. So that's basically it. Um, it works really nicely. You can see that the duct tape I used, I just sort of cut it into strips and then layered it around. So uh, it kind of covers all the borders and then I just put the pages on here uh, printed out with the artwork on this side and the charts on the other and as I laid down the duct tape they sort of pressed and sealed the uh, images into place. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Um, now the inside is a little bit rougher because I didn't quite hone my technique for cutting the duct tape right away but uh, in the future if I make another one I'll definitely be sure to cut everything nice and evenly. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for more Dark Plane stuff, um, particularly like I'm going to do an article on the Critical Hits chart and finishing a series now uh, about making the Lost Mine of Fandelver starter set adventure into a horror uh, game set in Dark Plane. So anyway, keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.